stuffs that we've studied in the first uh, in the first section, right? We have a horizontal or a, sorry, a vertical asymptote. And so why is that? Well, let's take a look at this first one here first, and let's factor. The big important thing is factoring. You must factor the numerator and the denominator to find out if there is a gap discontinuity or a point of discontinuity. So this is going to be y equals, you take an x out, right? And that leaves x minus 2. And on the bottom here, we can take a 2 out, and that leaves 2 minus x. Okay? Uh, down here, if we factor this, factor this one right here, we have x, and then we x plus 2, and here we have the 2 and the 2 minus x. Okay? Uh, so let's take a look at this. How many of you notice that these factors are almost identical? They're not the same. Okay? x minus 2 is very different than 2 minus x. When you see this, okay, you cannot just divide them out and say close enough. Can't do it. But what you can realize is that if you multiply one of them by a negative or factor a negative out, what happens is you get this happening. Now you may not see that right away, but this right here is the exact same as what I just had. This expands to 4 minus 2x. If I did this, okay, this would be negative 2 times negative 2 is still positive 4. Negative 2 times positive x is still minus 2x. You see that? So, what that does is it allows us to see this. Negative 2x minus 2. Okay? Maybe you need to stop and look at that again. But when you see factors that are very nearly the same, except um, they're a difference, but the terms are switched, you can just take a negative out of one, and then they become the same. So now, this does divide out with that. What this means is two things. That we have a gap at x equals positive 2. That's what that means. And the y function actually looks like negative x over 2. That's what it looks like. And so this simplified version is actually what the graph really looks like with this right here. And so if you look down here, this is a, a negative slope, a negative one-half slope. So it's like the same as negative one-half x. And so we have a negative one-half slope, and here's our gap at x equals 1. Two. Okay? So, two things. The simplified version, once you've divided out the factors, that's what the graph is going to end up looking like. And that factor that was divided out is going to represent your gap or your hole. Okay? Flipping over here with this one, there's no common factors that we can divide out. Certainly none with the, uh, with the variable. And so this means that we do have a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. That's what that means. If it remains in there, that's a vertical asymptote, just like we studied in section 9.1. At x equals 2. And of course, here is, in this graph, 1, 2. There you go. That actually represents the vertical asymptote right there. Okay? This one doesn't have a horizontal asymptote. Okay, and we're not going to get into that now, but it actually has a oblique, an oblique asymptote. It's an asymptote that actually is uh, defined by an oblique line, which, again, not going to get into that right now. In this example here, page 449, remember that if you have two vertical asymptotes, that means in the simplified uh, version of the function, once you've divided everything out that you can possibly divide, we're still going to have two uh, binomial factors in the denominator that represent two vertical asymptotes. Okay? Um, so, which one would this be? At negative 2 and positive 2. Look at this one over here. When we factor this, when we factor this, this is 2x up top, and this is x minus 2. 
and x plus 2, right? That's a difference of squares. Notice that none of these factors in the denominator can be divided out. So that means that this x value and this x value represent two vertical asymptotes. This one at x equals positive 2, this one at x equals negative 2. So that's graph 1. Okay. Um, this one here, if we take a look at this, this is 2 times x plus 2. And on the bottom, we have x plus 2 and x minus 2. And the x plus 2 gets divided out. And we have one vertical asymptote left at x equals positive 2. So that's this one. There's the vertical asymptote. And guess what? The x minus 2, or sorry, the x, the x at negative 2 is a gap. And here you have it. So this one goes with graph 2. Get that? Uh, this one here? Well, again, you would just factor it. So what do you have up top? You have x and, and uh, x plus 2 on top. And this one is x minus 2, x plus 2, right? So this one is, um, let's see, is that right? Okay, so we have x plus 2 and x plus 2, okay? And uh, I'm just going to give the reason for your choice. Squared. So actually, if we got to go back to this one right here, um, this is x squared plus 1. And I think I was just treating this as, as all three having x squared minus 4 in the denominator. So, I'll have to back this up here. This one here is 2, x plus 2 on top. And this x squared plus 1, yeah, okay, so we missed that. Cannot be factored because it's not a difference of squares. Okay? So do you guys see that? If it's x squared plus 1, that's not a difference of squares. You can't factor that. Do you guys see that now? Yeah? So anyway, so this one, we can't cancel out any factors at all. And this right here is always positive. There's no restricted value here for this one. So there's no x value that would make this zero. So that means there's no asymptotes here. So that's actually graph three. And this one is actually graph, uh, graph two. Okay. That's better. Okay, got that? So make sure you, uh, you recognize this. We missed this here before. X squared plus 1. That's, a, that's not a difference of squares at all. All right? All right, so on page 451, um, we have the key ideas. 451, key ideas right here. You can take a moment to look at this, guys. Take a moment to look at the key ideas. Just a bit of a summary of what we've done here. Here is the, um, the factors and how it respond, uh, corresponds to a vertical asymptote or to a point of discontinuity right here. Okay, here's the summary.